Hey you guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about Evernote, which is an awesome organizational tool uh, almost everybody should be using. Um, so first thing we're going to do is actually go to their website, uh, evernote.com. And when you go here, you'd want to create an account, and then you actually want to um, download Evernote for your computer. Um, so you click on that, download, set it up. Pretty simple to do. After you do that, what will happen is this lovely little uh, icon will appear on your desktop. And if you double click that, it will open up a box that looks very similar to that. Uh, probably won't be full of stuff though like mine is. Um, so this is the uh, uh, Evernote um, application uh, as it appears on your desktop. Uh, and I'm just going to go over a few of the basic features. Uh, here and then I'll uh, in my next video I'll talk uh, a little bit more in depth on some of the things. Evernote is an organizational tool um, and just from the name you would think notes keeping track of uh, different things in life and that's essentially what it is uh, but the great thing is is that Evernote is very uh, clean and uh, clear uh, and easy to use and so what you'll find on a day-to-day -day basis is new and different things um, to use Evernote for, things you would have never thought of the day before or the week before. Um, so uh, in this base screen, you essentially have three different columns. Uh, on the left um, is going to be uh, your what Evernote calls notebooks. And these are, you can think of them as folders. Um, you can title them uh, whatever you want and this is kind of the basic organizational structure. Um, each note you create you can um, sort into uh, any folder uh, or any notebook I should say you'd like and that's um, really how you um, keep um, it's really how you keep um, Evernote organized is through the use of notebooks. Um, really easy to create. You right click create a notebook you can rename them, you can uh, delete, do whatever um, with them. So this is how, um, uh, this is the basic organizational tool. And as you can see, as I click on each notebook, something new appears. Um, this middle column are the notes. These are each of the separate notes in uh, the notebook that you're uh, clicking on. So currently I'm in my world history notebook and these are the four notes in there. Uh, if I go to my all notes, which will show all your notes not organized by notebooks, you'll see that list expands. I'm going to go back to the world history one. So that's the middle column. It's just displaying each of the notes located in your notebook. And then on the far right, this is your body column, I would call it, because this is what is actually contained inside of your note. Um, and it really is just simply a basic text editor. Um, you got a few different things you can choose from up here, um, font, size, um, color, and a few alterations. But really, it, it's just a simple text editor. Um, and that is what is, uh, like I said, what's great about Evernote. It keeps things very organized, very clear. Uh, it doesn't really clutter things up. Um, and so there's the uh, basic structure of Evernote. You have your notebooks. You have the notes inside the notebooks. And then you also have the actual note itself. Um, so if you want to create a new note, there's a few ways you can do that. You can click on the new note button up here, or you can right click inside of uh, the actual notebook you're working in, new note. And from there, it'll bring up a new note. It'll now appear inside your notebook, and it'll bring up a new screen to type in. So I'm going to type, this is a new note. And from here, you fill in and add things. This is also where you can set the title of your note. Um, so I'm just actually call it uh, my new note. And as you can see, that is now the title of the new note. Um, 
And now that you've created it, um, and you are already inside the world history folder or whatever, I said folder, you're already inside your world history notebook, it automatically will put it in there. If you were working in your all notes uh, screen and created a new note, create one. This is note number two. What you'll see is it will only be found under your um, all notes and also the notebook with a little arrow next to it. This is kind of your base notebook to get started. Uh, I rename mine uh, Miss, short for miscellaneous. Um, but this is where all your original notes will appear. And from here, you can simply drag and drop those notes into whichever notebook you would like it to go to. So I'm going to drop it into World History. As you can see, it's now disappeared from the miscellaneous notebook and now appears in your World History Notebook. And that's Evernote. It's simple and it's easy to use. Um, the other big item or the other big thing that Evernote does is it allows you to sync all these notes over multiple platforms and devices. Um, you can have Evernote on a separate computer or um, for many people you can have Evernote on your smartphone using an Evernote app. And so what happens is Evernote, um, every time you do something new, is going to sync. And what that does is it is updating its database and syncing anything new you've done to uh, any of other Evernote application you may use. So if you're working in your desktop one, once you sync, all the new things you've done will now be, uh, it, you'll be able to access on your uh, say your iPhone Evernote app and so that's what's great is for those spur of the moment things you're at the, the grocery store um, and uh, you want to look up a recipe that you wrote in your Evernote it's right there in your app or you know you're out and about and you take a picture you can put it right there in your Evernotes and save it for later maybe it's an address on a billboard or you know anything and that's what I mentioned at the beginning is you will find Evernote is more useful than you could ever, man it, uh, ever imagined um, as each day goes by.